chill stream. No detractor memes, bathroom breaks, playing WWE, relaxing chill session of Street Fighter 3. Like a damn my vibe back from 2017. Chill Murray spends his whole f day talking about Phil. Yo, what up? It's your boy. And man, today's video, our boy Phil. <laughs> I can't stop laughing. This was honestly funny. Phil. All right, so we all know Phil's a horrible gamer, right? But he likes to act like he's in the know. You know, like he has his ear to the street. He's the end-all, be-all content creator and streamer of all time. He's a Michelangelo, bro, when it comes to this. <laughs> so he's going to sit here... Uh, talk about, you know, Call of Duty Warzone, and he really, like, do in a delusional, gin-fueled haze, I don't know, he really thinks he's good at Warzone, and he actually takes a jab at pretty much everybody who's better than him at Warzone, like, everybody, everybody that streams it for a living, content creators, all that, and it's just hilarious, the C Phil acting ass day after day with zero awareness. Like he's like Chris Chan's uncle or something, dude. I swear. So yeah, let's jump into it, dude. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, click that bell, all that the dumb YouTuber stuff. <laughs> let's jump into it. A little bit of an odd day. Allow me to explain. So, pretty much for the last several months. Uh, there's been at least one day a month where I have had to step away from the standard content that I do and do basically kind of like a half day of streaming. And the reason for that has been quite simple. This year, I instituted something new and different. I did some React style content, correct? I reacted to quite a few documentaries on the internet. I reacted to uh, other YouTube channels. I reacted to, this is how you don't play. I just did a react marathon where we reacted to advertisements from yesteryear. This content has been quite successful. You guys seem to have liked it uh, for the most part. Not all of it was ultra successful. For example, reacting to the live gaming events didn't work so well. But for the most part, everything went pretty well. You guys liked that I did more variety in my content this year. And to go along with that, we had some people who tossed around the idea that I already have a Patreon, and on my Patreon, you could pledge $50 and get a private Q&A video. And they said, well, instead of Q&A, what if we were to request a private React video? Bro, imagine paying $50 to pretty much have Phil do make a video for you that, that you do for free. You could, bro, oh, oh my head almost broke. <laughs> like... You can sit here and watch Phil's mindless content for free. You don't have to pay a dime. You just have to pay a piece of your soul. <laughs> you know? But you're but uh, these dickheads are literally gonna sit here and some of these weens and a logging retards are gonna sit here and go, yeah, hey, it'll be funny if I get Phil to react to my mom's wedding. Weirdos! You guys are weird! You pay $50 for this, you're weird. Ugh. And I said, well, I guess what we'd have to do is dabble in it, give it a shot, see what it is, and see how it works. And if it works, great. And if it not, it's no big deal. So, I actually started off with um, Slayer. Slayer, a regular viewer and supporter here, who requested a few different kinds of videos. And I did some private reacts for him. And he literally liked them. He liked them so much, he posted them publicly on the internet, and they got a little bit of attention. You know, not a ton of attention, but, you know, a few hundred views, maybe a thousand views here or there. Um, Yo, I think it's hilarious how Phil tries to make that the main draw, you know. Pay $50, and he makes a private video. Hey, hey may maybe, maybe you could put it on your YouTube channel, you know, get a little attention. Slayer, you know, Slayer, Snort. You know, he got a couple hundred views. You know, maybe a thousand. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, no way, bro. Imagine paying $50 to try to get a couple views on a YouTube, YouTube video. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> he liked it so much that it became a regular thing. So, after seeing him do it for a couple of months, 
other people started jumping on the bandwagon and saying, oh, that's cool. I'd like to see Phil react to other things. I'd like to see Phil react to videos about space, time, and science. I'd like to see rea Phil react to videos about tourism. I'd like to see him react to an inspirational, motivational video. I'd like to see him do this, do that. Okay. Is over the course of this year, what started off as kind of an interesting, unique idea that kind of reinvigorated my Patreon, which pretty much had gone, let's be honest, unreally, unattended. It was getting very dusty. I wasn't really doing anything with it. Um, it kind of made it a little bit interesting again, right? However, <clears throat> excuse me. When so many people started wanting to do these videos that I either had to start narrowing down the amount that I would accept or I had to start taking out time from my daily routines in order to have time to do these because allow me to explain how it works. You pledge 50 bucks or more, you get a video. Each video is gonna be 20 to 30 minutes long. Can't be longer than 30 minutes, that's the limit, okay? <clears throat> now previously, you Bro, no way, dude. No way people paid Phil $50 to see him react to the space. People are paying me $50 to react to things like space time. Huh? <laughs> no. I don't believe it for some reason, bro. Phil's acting like there's a legion of people, dude. Just like, Phil, 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 just take my money. Take my money and just, you know, shovel out some shit video. No, get out of here, bro. Back in reactions to something they find interesting as a topic, right? They're very interested to pick my brain about this subject. And, you know, they earned something good. You know what I'm saying? They earned it. It's not, uh, it's not, oh, I have your money, so now I just rush through and arbitrarily pump out a, a crappy 20-minute video. I want to do something good for you, and I do my best. Sometimes I can't. Sometimes I'm watching a space-time video, and I'm like, you know, <laughs> my brain's exploding because I don't know what the hell they're talking about. And they're That's what I'm talking about. Why would you pay $50 to watch Phil watch something he doesn't know anything about when he does that for free on the daily? He plays games that he knows nothing about. He talks about things he knows nothing about. Like, like about skill, like, you know, Call of Duty right now. Like, the guy knows nothing about skill-based matchmaking and how it works. And, like, why he might do okay every now and then, dude. Like, Phil has a, a 0 0.01 KD, dude. The guy gets put in bot lobbies, bro. You know, you could take that $50 and donate it to like a homeless shelter or you know go buy fifty dollars worth of food and give it to homeless people or i don't know you know there's so many like actual ways you could take 50 to use it on yourself <laughs> i'll buy a fire eighth of weed at the dispensary you know or you could get a good deal with 50 bucks at the dispo let's go but you know what i'm saying like there's so many mind monumentally more beneficial things fifty dollars could do for the human race than donate it to Phil's Patreon for him to do what he does for free. Come on man, these guys are dickheads, bro. If we raise a hundred dollars of tips today, I will put on a hat for you and we have holiday hats in the rotation. A Santa hat and the let's get lit hat. Now it's funny because we are eleven days into the month. I said, hey, for the month of December, I'll do this special thing. If we ra raise $100 on any particular stream, I'll put on a holiday hat. I think we've done it three times total in the entirety of the month. And that's, you know, 11 days in, you figure two days off. So nine, 18 streams, only three that we even get it. So <clears throat> this is, I don't know why. It always kind of happens this time of year. I, I institute fun, festive stuff, and then we really don't use it that much. It is, again, if you like the streams, you want to support them, thank you in advance. Anything is appreciated. And uh, being that this is my only stream of the day, yes, it would be great if you could support it because I will not be here tonight. There's no there's no slack that I can pick up on a late stream or anything like that. Knowing that God of War Ragnarok is my lowest supported stream, uh, it is what it is. It might just be a really slow day and there's nothing I could do about it. All right? All right. Now, tomorrow... Bro, I swear to God, whenever Phil sits here and does the daily spiel... All right, so if you donate 100, we can, wear, we can wear a silly hat. It's just like, bro, it feels like, ah, he's like a crackhead, dude. Like a crackhead on the edge. He's an edge runner, bro. Stop it.
get some help. In Warzone, what I'm seeing today is that most people playing it suck. Just being honest, I'm not trying to t talk shit about, you know, the game itself. I, I do enough of that, but a lot of these people are playing it for the memes. Oh, because a popular streamer plays it, I play it, right? It just seems to me like that's been the memeable thing. Like, oh, everyone plays Warzone now, right? So I play it, and it's just like, these guys stink, you know? <laughs> like, I can't believe they lose the firefights they do, some things they do, and they don't use basic strategy of just winning. Like, if you want to win in Battle Royale, right? The first 10, 15 minutes, you should spend running and grabbing as much good equipment as possible. Then, immediately, you should start focusing on strategy. Start moving towards the center of the circle. Start finding places that you can camp and defend yourself properly. Not, oh, I'm not in the open or I'm just sniping. Instead, get into a place, all the walls are blocked, there's only one entrance way, and just wait. And if someone comes in, gun them the fuck down and take their shit. Bro, I literally got dizzy hearing Phil say that in real life. Oh my god. <laughs> like I had vertigo or something, dude. Oh my god, the guy. He's literally lost his goddamn mind. <laughs> oh, he really... Oh my god, dude. I'm trying to tell you, Phil is the worst Call of Duty player. Hands down. I'm trying to tell you, he's in bot lobbies. That's the only reason why he might win a gunfight. But for the most part, the guy doesn't know how to, like... Work a controller, it's, it's I don't understand. It's like he white knuckles it or something. It, it, it's amazing. The guy sucks. And he has the nerve to flex. No way. <laughs> he lost it, bro. He's all he's a, he's gone. He done lost the plot. <laughs> the loss in the sauce and it's robust. Dude, fuck this. This is a waste of time. This again, it's the second match in a row. It's like it's unplayable. I can't aim and hit anyone. I can't aim and hit anyone. I'm pre-aiming. I aim and fire. I'm hitting first. I just die. What? <laughs> what? What the fuck? Dude, enough of this. What a complete waste of time. Please give me some weapon experience. Stuff. It's stuff I was doing five plus years ago in PUBG in Black Ops 4 Blackout, right? <clears throat> so, to me, it's basics. It's like common sense. It's like easy mode shit. To them, it's like rocket science. Like these people are running and gunning. They're you know, what it is is again they watch streamers. And what is a streamer who's known for playing like Warzone known for? Oh, I'm gonna pop a UAV. I'm gonna go murder ten people, steal all their shit. What's the next funny thing I can say and do? What can I do for my, entertain my stream and blah blah blah? Who cares, right? You're fucking, wow, you're, you're a showman, you're a puppet, you're a muppet. Who cares about that shit? It's about winning, right? That's what you're supposed to do, win. So, here- Well, I guess that's why you're a loser, Phil. A 40-year-old, gin-sweating loser. It's amazing, bro. <laughs> it's like, as long as Phil has his couple little wells, that will literally just carry him on into retirement age and death, bro. They'll probably still, they'll donate to cat. cat cat's, ooh, cat's retarded ass sitting there. I'll stream. Here, I'll stream. Oh, I would, oh, bro. I would have to start detracting on her. Six hours in to playing this game mode. Literally still not knowing much of anything about it. And I, multiple top three places. It's just, it's hilarious. The last match, I would have won if I was a little bit luckier. The problem was I had bad placement for the final showdown against me and the last guy. Um, and having the high ground, he got a couple extra shots on me. And that's all it takes. But, you know, it was just funny to me that I played it. And I'm like, how am I making top 10, top 3 placings when I don't even know what I'm doing? Because the people playing it suck. <laughs> you know, they're just messing around. You see what I mean? You see what we say when... You know, we joke, we say all these AAA brain dead games are made for Phil. They're made for people like Phil. Literally, they're made for the dumb, average, stupid person. 
okay? And if it makes you mad, that makes you mad. I'm sorry, bro. That's life. You know? So, 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 some truths of life are inconvenient. You know what I'm saying? And skill-based matchmaking, it's made for dumbass schmucks like Phil to make them feel good, bro. To stroke their egos. <laughs> like, get out of here. Phil's KD is like a 0 0.2. No, it's like a 0 0.2. Five. No, it's a point five. Oh my god, no. Yeah, it's like a zero two. So he's only beating he's being put in lobbies with like five year old kids, you know, playing on their dad's account. You know, maybe the, the girlfriend that's trying to impress her boyfriend and play video games. You know what I'm saying? Like like the person that like 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 I don't know. A kid with cancer in a kid's hospital get, getting to play on the Xbox. I, I don't understand. You know? <laughs> I, I will never be in a 2KD lobby like that. Like a .02 lobby like that. So I can't comprehend it. It's like a bot lobby. Phil's just being put with bots. And it's he's starting to feel too good about himself. And then he's going to get put in a lobby where someone's going to put their foot squarely in his ass. And they're going to check that ego. Oh, that's going to be so funny. He's such an ass. Why does he have to? This is why people hate you, Phil. Why you got to be a toxic dick every chance you get, bro? To a gunfight, but mostly it's just kind of, you know, looting and, and surviving and talking with you guys. Then... The last few minutes are tense, exciting action as we get down to like the top 20, the top 10, as you start getting into that final circle, and now it gets epic, right? And that's why it works. It's the same exact formula, you know, from four plus years ago, and it still works to this day. Um, personally, I'm not in love with the game. I think the gunplay kind of sucks. I think if you get the drop on anyone, you should just kill them, not you fill them with bullets, they get lucky, or they abuse the game systems to, to fuck with the whole aim assist, and now you can't keep shooting them. So, Phil expects the game to just give him whatever he wants. So, Phil just, if he sees the guy, the guy's just supposed to die. Like, if Phil just presses the trigger and aims in the general direction of the target, Phil thinks he deserves the kill. Oh my god, he's so brain dead. The guy, like, bro, he's hungover. Like, these are hangover thoughts or something, dude. He, he's crazy. <laughs> oh, my lord, I can't. Don't like, okay? But, for the most part, I can understand why people like it. I can get why this will work as part of my content. So, I'm willing to keep it in rotation as long as you guys like it. We'll engage and support with it, which you guys have been doing. The three Warzone streams I did this last week actually did quite well as late streams, okay? Man, the guy doesn't even try to hide it anymore. Give Phil money. He'll keep playing Warzone. <laughs> oh, no. Who wants to watch a guy, like, just sit by himself? He doesn't, like, fill his... Like, no, dude, no. Phil puts up all these walls in a bubble, so, you know, it's just him. He... <laughs> He treats it like a single player game. I hate it. I hate him. I hate everything about the guy. And I can't wait to just see the stroke on stream. It's going to be epic. All right. <laughs> I'm done with him today. I have better stuff to do. This is madness, bro. Phil, he's been acting very weird, dude. Okay? Like, let me know if I'm wrong. But Phil's been acting like uh, like weirder than usual. And usually when he acts like this, this is when like fate, like, uh, like I don't know, like something weird happens. Like the Holy Ghost comes and <laughs> checks his ass. <laughs> I'm telling you something, we're, we're coming up on something bad happening to Phil soon. Cause he's just strutting around bro, flexing. He's trying to flex on, on Everyone he can. He's lashing out all over the place. He's acting like he's untouchable or something, bro. Why does he have to talk all this shit? Why does he always have to talk about things he doesn't know anything about? Like, you know, he's he. Oh my god, bro. Like, skill based matchmaking is a bane. 
in games. I don't care. Sometimes I should just be able to just dominate everybody. <laughs> like, remember the old days? You just joined the lobby and it was a mix of everyone, you know? Now it's just like, bro, you're, it feels like you're crying out for the, the latest spot on an esports team. And I don't have time for that sometimes. So, alright guys, I'm out of here. Remember to like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell so you can see whenever I'm live and, or when a video pops up. And oh yeah, I'm not going to be working for the next few days, so we'll pop in do a couple live streams but yeah till then guys have a good one hey everything was right everything was right i did nothing wrong i did nothing wrong everything was right everything was right i did nothing wrong Masturbated. What? Oh, the camera's out.